Well, as you may have known from my previous tutorial, uh, my previous videos, you can see that I tried, tried to create a scene in Blender, and it took about six weeks to do this. I've tried doing it with UDK. It's a similar sort of thing where you have a sky, you have a terrain. So you've got your sky, you've got your terrain, you have some trees in here, and you have some water. And the problem with Blender is you have to render it if you want to get your waterfalls to move. This being a game engine, you basically go into it and everything moves. So I'll show you here. You can hear the water. I don't know whether the sound will be very good at the moment. If you look at the trees, you see the trees are actually moving in the wind. And I can walk through this scene. And actually see the waterfalls that I've created. I can also actually fly through the scene. If I put in fly, I can actually move around and have a close look at things. When you get a bit close, you see the waterfalls, not that great, unfortunately. So, um, no, it's not too bad. Nice piece of water there. Glass. The outside water. I just, I haven't actually done anything with that. That's I could scale that down so it just comes around my terrain. But this should give you an idea of UDK. In Blender, it took about six weeks to create this. In UDK, it takes about two hours. So it's just to give, just to give you some idea of it. This is the version of Blender I tried to create. It took me ages to learn how to do it and actually ages to create it. Um, there's the actual uh, items, the terrain, the trees, the sky. Similar sort of thing to what I've done in UDK, but it does take a lot longer to do that.